Hey there, David Hawk here. Today I want to talk to you about canvases and why I love them, a couple of limitations to them, but mostly why I love them and why I like using it for different projects. You can see in this one, well I've already messed this one up in preparation for this image or this video, I guess. But here, let's just click on this one. Alright, so the big thing about canvases that I like is you can nest everything in one file now so it was like these these are the halloween boxes that i did back in october and i wanted multiples because we were taking them to a show and i was going to sell them so i didn't want all the same ones i wound up making six different ones sorry i should be looking at the camera i wound up making six different ones and i just originally i had all these different files so let's say i had this you know, and I was pushing them all over to the side because I had them all in this one, well, canvas. So once I figured out, once I got X Tool Studio and I could do the different canvases, well, now I could lay out each box individually. So that was a huge help because I didn't have to go moving files around and wondering, did I already run this one? Did I run that one? And it was just kind of confusing the other way. So I love canvases for that. It lays everything out e easily. So the other thing, if, you're, if you've are if you got a file like this to where you want to do, you're kind of doing the same type thing like the box. You're doing the same box, but you're just doing different cutouts and different images. You can just copy command C on my computer. I don't remember the copy command on PCs. I'm on a Mac. But anyway, so it's command C on mine, but then you can just come, well, click the plus button to get a new canvas and then just in mine command V, whatever the paste option is for a PC would work. So now you've got this same image and now you can just come in and change out the images and the cutouts that you want and you've got a whole nother box. The other thing that I like is that if you want to, this didn't matter to me, so I didn't name them, but you can rename the canvas. So I'm just going to say canvas one, but you can rename the canvas. So if you've got something, well, it was canvas one already. That was silly. Renaming it to the same. Let's just do canvas name. All right. So there, so you can rename the canvas. So if you if you have a need in that, you can do it. And then a couple of downfalls that you should be aware of is you can see on this one, I have three millimeter basswood selected as the material to engrave. And on the one that I just copied and pasted, that's an unknown material. So it does not bring in your settings or the material, you have to reset that, so be aware of that. It wasn't a big deal for me, obviously. You just go in and, you know, three millimeter basswood, done and done. The only thing is, I do like my engraves a little different. So I do, what is it, 30 power and, let me see. I don't know, that one's set the same way. So is that one. Well... I typically do 30 power and I can't remember the speed. But anyway, you can change that very easily. So it's not a big deal. I, I think I showed, I haven't changed that to basswood yet. So I think I showed it one. If you don't like these settings, you can go to the one click setting. Yeah, this is the one I use. So I keep it 250, but I use 30 power. So that's easy enough to change. The last thing that you should know on these canvases, if you want to run this box, say, on a S1, like I've got it here, and you want to run this box on, say, a P2 or PS2, whatever it is, I don't actually have that machine, but if you want to run it on that, if you come up here and you change this canvas to that new machine, it's going to change all the canvases to that new machine, and therefore it's going to change all the powers and speeds and everything so be aware of that too but those are the only two downfalls i see i love canvases i use them all the time and like i say it's just a great way to nest the projects and kind of keep it a little more organized and i have difficulty sometimes finding 
projects that I saved in the past. And it's like, where did I save that? I've got so many folders and things. So this helps that. And I really like it. So if, if you know anybody that you think this video might help, please share it with them. If you've liked it, I'd love a thumbs up and I'd really love a subscribe to the channel if you have really liked it that much. And I look for, oh, if you've got any questions, ask them in the comments below. I'm happy to answer anything you've got that's to do with lasers and X tools. If, if I can help you, I certainly will. And until next time, in the next video, I will see you then. I, I'm not sure what the next title is going to be or the, I, I've got it written down, but I can't remember off the top of my head. So anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Talk soon. Bye.